one thing you can notice here is that this right-handed spring right here closest to where the tone arm is has to miss the tone arm well and so uh, it's on an angle, a 45 degree, where all the others are parallel with the cabinet. Um, and the well that the springs go into on the back underside is bigger than these springs, and that's fine. That's not an issue. While you're actually at this point and your cabinet's exposed, you can check to make sure that your foot post are not damaged at all. Gabby, can you move that foot post right there or just show? We just wiggle it north, south, east, west right there and make sure that all the foot posts are rock solid. This one, in this case, they are. Sometimes they've taken a hit in shipping and th then you'll either have to tighten up the nut or if they've ripped out of the cabinet, you have to remove it, um, fix the underside, uh, build it up with some sawdust and uh, wood glue and then re-drill the hole and put in a new foot post. It's actually built, the foot posts are built to fail uh, so that the cabinet never does if it takes a hit. It's kind of a smart design. And you can see the first one always takes the longest, and then as you get towards the second or third, you gain a little confidence. And I would suggest doing this earlier in the day before you've had a beer. Now when we, we mail these out, we've already glued that spring, correct Gabby? Yes. So you will not have to do that step. And then after the fourth one is done, it's time to reverse all the other steps and put the sub chassis back in and put it together.